Okay, Johnny, show me that hat again now. <laughs> Five years old, yes. seven, eight, twelve. <laughs> that I would be having lunch in forty years with all my heroes, I'd say that was a great thing. Couldn't happen. I'm here too. And, and Jim Reynolds is here too. So it worked out really well. All right. Such so a good turnout for the twentieth. Next year also is the twentieth. <laughs> All right. As always, we go through the bylaws real quickly. For those of you who are new, I just want to make sure that the membership is valid. If you don't meet the criteria, you have to leave. You can be a member of the Veterans of Radio Wars if you have never paid to get into a Lookouts game, a Mox game, or any local concert. Everybody good? If, you, if you've ever been fired from a radio station then showed up for work the next day like nothing happened. <laughs> Park the Smith, anyhow. <laughs> if you've traded out your apartment, your vacations, or your tires, this is a group for you. Johnny Eagle's here. <laughs> he traded out hair. <laughs> Two for one. <laughs> if you've worked for Billy Benz, Colonel Sato, Ted Turner, Sammy George, Cy Bay Hackle, Roy H. Park, or all of the above, you can be a member of this group. If you've ever received $25 for introducing Kenny Rogers at the Hitching Post. Here it comes, $25. If you've ever used a 10-year-old Riverbend media and parking pass to get in the festival. It works, just in case anybody doesn't know if your entire music collection, Tommy, is made up of 45 RPM records with a hole punch and the label says promo use only. <laughs> this is the Luther rule here. If you've ever spent an hour on the phone with Squirrely Shirley, <laughs> watch not Luther, I don't have brother on one. You might be a member. If you've ever done anything lewd, objectionable, or illegal with a radio station's copy machine, that's the Bob Boyer rule. <laughs> If you consider the remote broadcast prize van a way to meet women, you might be able to. If you ever told a caller with a lost dog to call Luther, <laughs> if you ever find yourself talking up the intro of a song while you're alone in your car, you might be a member. Does anybody else do that with me? I still hit it, buddy, right there. And finally, our new addition this year that Gary and I just figured out a few days ago, if you've ever gone into a production room and done this tag, Distributed in Chattanooga by Beasley Distributed. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the gold card members in here, when somebody says to you, I remember you from when you worked at WDXB or yeah. wherever, and you respond by saying, which, which time? <laughs> so um, that's about it. I mean, this, this gets to be more fun as you get older and, and people say the funniest things to you. I have one true story in the bio the other day. This guy was come up to me and says, David Carroll, I go, yeah. says, I'm the one who sent you that email. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked a little puzzled, and I, I, I said, help me out a little bit. He says, well, you know, it was about that story you did. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. I figured out who it was immediately. I got, I, got, I got Chris. Where's Chris? Chris from Wally's here. Walks up. You know, you want to be known for something. I wanted to be known for being great on the radio or maybe on television or whatever. Chris walks up and says, Hey, aren't you the guy that had a heart attack in our Wally's restroom down on the coffee? <laughs> right to the top, baby. <laughs> Before we move
Before we proceed, we just, we just want to say that we have some special guests here. We do. I'm, I want to say special little Bill McCauley. Bill, I think you get the award for person who has least changed. That's right. Because Bill's beard and hair were gray when he was 24. <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. The rest of us are, you know, skinny. <laughs> Commissioner Bill Hollander? Bill Hollander's in. That's right. Appreciate Commissioner Bill Hollander. Hollander. One very special announcement. For very few people weeks. know he had a radio show at, at one time. He did a little morning radio show. <laughs> sure do. He slid right under the membership requirements. <laughs> I mean, he was almost really in, and then it was with Earl. So that was <laughs> we call that the Luther. I, you know, how long I've known Luther? What, 30 years? And every time I see him, I say, hi, Luther, Gary Mack, because you know, I just want him to remember <laughs> because, of, because of what I call the Big John Anthony rule. What does that mean? <clears throat> the late Big John, we're down at Miller Park one day. And it's, I think it was for Cancer Society, but they had this Radiothon day, and every radio station had its booth. Remember this, Luther? We were all set up in booths down at Miller, Miller Park doing our broadcast that morning to help raise awareness for whatever disease function we were in charge of that day. And, and we're going through the motions, and a couple of us walked over by Luther talking to him. Here comes John Anthony. Big John walks up. He walks over, and he says, Luther! Great to see you. Big John Anthony, US 101. You are the best. I just want to say that in my career, I've always thought that the pinnacle of success is to be able to be known by one name in a marketplace. And I've listened to you, and I've respected your work, and I love what you do, and it's great, it's great, it's great. He turns around, he walks off, and Luther deadpans me and goes, who the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> It'd be better to ask how many people in here work for Cyan Bayhack. Everybody raise their hand. But most people, most wow. people in here. Luther, raise your hand. Oh, yeah, you know, I work for him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thanks to Ben Cagle, I went back to WDOD. <laughs> and now I'm taking care of the bad. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Explain this. Hey, a little bit. I mean, <laughs> the phone rings in the TV 12 newsroom. And it's Ben Cagle. And Ben says, Earl, can you come up here a minute? Yeah, I'll be, up, be right up. He come in, I, uh, he opened the door, and I sat out on the couch. And he said, uh, Earl, you're my friend, but I want you to know they're fixing to cut you loose. And uh, you think you can go back and get your old job at WDOD back? Now this is when I was general manager. He was radio general manager of radio. He was with TV. And I was I was with, with TV. Randy was there. Randy remembers. But uh, I owe a lot to Ben for that, that conversation because I was able to get back on over WDOD. But uh, well, Ben didn't cut you loose. I want you to. No, know. Ben didn't cut me loose. <laughs> ben didn't cut me. I like that story better. Go with that. <laughs>